If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To show the report's rows and column settings after opening the customized report pane in QuickBooks Online if needed, click the Rows and Columns section label to expand that section. These settings also change based on the type of report you are customizing. However, many settings that appear here are shared by multiple reports. This lesson reviews the common rows, columns, report settings in QuickBooks Online. To add columns to the report by which to view the totals for each row in reports that show an aggregation of values, or totals, select a choice from the Columns dropdown. To select which columns and rows to show based on account activity or non-zero amounts, select your choices from the Show Non-Zero or Active Only dropdown. The Show Rows and Show Columns section of this dropdown lets you choose either the Active, All, or Non-Zero option button by which to filter the columns and rows. To change the columns in a report, click the Change Columns link to expand that section. This section's settings change for aggregate reports versus detail reports. To collapse this section if needed, click the Hide Change Columns link that then appears at the bottom of the expanded section. To change the columns that appear in aggregate reports that show previous period comparisons, check or uncheck the checkboxes in this section to add or remove columns for previous period, previous year, or year-to-date comparisons. If checked, to also add columns that show the change in dollar amounts, dollars change, percentages, percent change, or the percent of the year to date, percent of YTD, check those checkboxes too. If available, to add columns that break down the percentage each row or column contributes to the total, or the percentage each income or expense account contributes to the total, check the percent of row, percent of column, percent of income, and or the percent of expense checkboxes. The column options that appear for detail reports are very different from aggregate reports. If available to group detail data for reports that let you group the detail data, select a choice from the Group By dropdown. The following list of checkboxes shows the available report columns. Checked checkboxes that appear above the dividing line also appear in the report. Unchecked checkboxes that appear below the dividing line do not. To change the columns that appear in reports that show transaction details, check the unchecked checkbox for the column name to add, shown below the dividing line in this section, to move it above the dividing line. To remove a column, uncheck the checked checkbox for the column name that appears above the dividing line to move it back below the dividing line. To reorder the report columns you have added, click and drag the icon to the left of the column names in the section above the dividing line up or down. Then release it when the column is in the desired position. The order the column names appear here from top to bottom is the order they appear from left to right in the report. To reset the report's columns after changing them, click the Reset to Default link that then appears in the section's upper right corner. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.